Hello and welcome to step seven. In this video, we're gonna concentrate on railings and modifications of curtain walls. So just under projects, press open, select stage seven and open again. The first thing we're going to do is go to the project browser on your left, double click on level two, and then WT, window tile, and then ZA, zoom all. As our 3D window is selected, I want you to select level two drawing space and under the architectural tab, I would like you to go round about the middle to railing. Once you have select railing, you will notice the user interface has changed and we are currently in a sketch mode. From here, I would like you to zoom in between grid lines four and five and hover over this point here, click once, then go all the way down to the next point and then click again. From here, I'd like you to click again in the same point and then all along to the right till you get to the wall and then click again. One thing you might have noticed is that I actually did four clicks. I did one at the top, one at the bottom, again at the bottom and then along to the right. So I did four clicks. This is the long way of doing it. So I'd like you to undo these two lines by pressing Control Z. Zoom back up between grid lines four and five at the top. But before you start drawing, in the options toolbar in the top left, you will notice a box that's unchecked called chain. I'd like you to click this button. And I'd like you to do the same steps as again, but you'll notice it's only three clicks. So. One click at the top, one click at the bottom, and one click on the far right. And then press escape to finish your command. Once you have done that, I would like you to press the green tick to finish the sketch. As you can see in our 3D view, our railing is highlighted blue. To isolate this element with a section box, just like before in our previous video, if you go to the view section within modified railings and press section box, automatically within our 3D view, we've isolated that element. From here, I would like you to close the level two drawing window and automatically this maximize. Press ZA to zoom all. Our next step, we are going to create a custom curtain wall. So I'd like you to zoom out just a tiny bit and in your properties palette, I want you to turn off the section box, which is under extents. The next step is we are going to hover over this left hand curtain wall, click once. And then in our graphic options bar at the very bottom, you will see a little icon, which is sunglasses. I'd like to click this button and I would like you to select isolate element. Once you do that, you will notice the whole building has disappeared apart from the curtain wall we've selected. It is also important to note that we have a blue border around our modeling area. This just backs up that we are currently in the sunglasses mode for the isolated element. From here, I would like you to go to the view cube and press the left hand side. From here, I would like you to go to the architectural tab and then slightly along to the right, still under the build section, I would like you to select curtain grid. Once you do that, you'll notice the user interface has turned green and you will also notice there's no actual drawing line tools. This is only done in all segments, one segment and all except picked. So if you go down to your curtain wall and hover on the far left hand side, you'll notice we get a horizontal grid line. Now if we go up to the top and hover over the horizontal line, you will notice we get vertical grid lines. The first one I would like you to do is draw a horizontal grid line at approximately one meter down. Then click. So that's one way of drawing a curtain grid line. I'm gonna show you another way which is a lot quicker. 
So I'd like you to press escape once to exit the command and you will notice the user interface is no longer green. I want you to hover over the curtain wall, click once, then go over to the far right to the properties palette and select edit type. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this type of property, this type of family system. So press duplicate and type in curtain wall MPK, then press OK. Now, as you can see within this window, we have a parameters section and a value section. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll notice a vertical grid, a horizontal grid, and vertical mullions. Now, as you can see, they're all at pretty much none. What we're going to do is we're going to add some numbers to this, which will automatically update the curtain wall that we currently have selected. So we select layout and we choose this to fix distance. We're now going to change the spacing to two meters, so 2.0. And in the horizontal grids, we're going to select this to the layout to be fixed distance again. And we're going to keep it at 3.0, three meters. Once you've done this, press OK. And you will notice directly on your screen that all new grids have arrived on your curtain wall. Now it's important to remember that we have done two different types of curtain wall grids. Our first grid at the top, if I select a negative space before doing so, our first grid at the top, if I hover over it, we drew that manually. And our second grid, we set this out in the type parameters by pressing edit type. Now you will notice on my screen, as well as yours, that when you select them, we have a little pin. These are locked to the dimensions that we placed in the edit type selector. So we selected two meters by three meters. If I select one of these grid lines that is locked, hover over the pin till it turns gold, click once, I am able to manually move this grid line. As we want to use these grid lines that are currently set out in the type parameters via edit type, I want to relock this because we're going to use this system for the next stage. Okay, so let's go up to the architectural tab and select curtain grid again under the build section. But this time we're going to choose the tool all except picked. So just like before, if you hover over the top of the curtain wall panel, you will notice we can get an option to do a vertical grid. And if we go over the side of the panel, we can get horizontal grids. The next one we're going to do is approximately here. So if you click once, and then if you click twice on every other panel like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on the red line that we just created, you will notice that dotted lines appear. So just like before, to cancel the command, press escape, and you will notice we have a new curtain grid. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy down the two grid lines that we created. Hover over the one with the gaps, click once, then press the control key and select the top grid line. At the top of your screen, you will notice that our user interface is green and we're going to use the copy tool. But before we do any modeling or any moving of the grid lines, make sure that multiple in your options toolbar is ticked. Go down to your modeling area Click the top left hand corner once, move down three grid lines, click again, move down one more grid line and click again, then press escape and you will notice our new curtain wall pattern has been created. To tidy up this design a little better, I would like you to select the top grid line that we drew and move it up with the temporary dimensions to 0 0.6. Moving down one, two, three, four grid lines again, I'd like you to do the same. Select it and change 0.6. Again, going down one, two, three grid lines. Select it and change this to 0.6. Once you have finished, press in negative space. Our next step is to add some curtain wall mullions. So on the top right hand corner of your 3D view, go to the view cube and click the top right hand corner. Now under the architectural tab, 
one button to the right of the curtain grids you will see a button called mullions select this the user interface will turn to green and I want you to select another button say all grid lines select this once hover over your curtain wall and then click once our next step is to create some openable windows so I'd like you to press escape to exit the command zoom in to the top left hand side next thing we're going to do is go down to the bottom right hand side of your screen and just like before I want you to select the little blue rectangle with a cross on it which is select element by face once that's been clicked I want you to hover over this middle panel here and press tab once and then click with the mouse once you've done that I want you to right click and go up to the top and press select panels along horizontal grid and if you zoom out a little bit you'll notice all those panels have been highlighted which currently have little pin symbols on them now we have two ways to unpin all of these windows the first option you already know if you hover over it until it goes gold then click once the other way of unpinning all of them is at the very top under the modify curtain panel which is currently in a green user face if you hover along to the modify section and you'll see a little pin and then just above it you have an unpin with a little red cross on it if you select that all of your windows that were selected are unpinned now we go to the property selector panel over here click once scroll down until you see M curtain wall awning click this and you will notice all of our windows have been updated okay so our next step is we are going to turn off this temporary hide isolate section which is the blue window that's currently around our modeling area to do that we go down to our sunglasses and press reset temporary hide isolate and if you zoom out you'll notice we can see the whole building again our next step is we're going to change all existing curtain walls into the new panel systems that we've designed so if you hover over this curtain wall system here click once then right click then hover over select all elements in the entire project over to the properties palette I want you to select store front MPK and you will notice all of our windows have been updated the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a door just down here so we can enter the building to do this I want you to go to the architectural tab and select curtain grid again but this time we're going to use the one segment tool hover over this particular panel on the left hand side of the mullion so you get a horizontal grid line and then click once again press escape to exit the command by pressing it twice the next thing we're going to do is delete the bottom mullion so hover over it until it's slightly blue once you've found that click once on your mouse unpin it then press delete now hovering over the curtain wall panel you will notice that I have the whole entire curtain wall select highlighted if I tab once twice over that actual panel I can select it individually I click on my mouse once I do that I go to the property selector and I change it to store front double door okay so that concludes our seventh step I would like you to press escape so that the user interface changes from green to gray and close the 3d window and do not save as you might want to do this again